generally think of Minnesota as being a business friendly state. But in 2013, Fast Company Magazine made a list of startup friendly states and Minnesota came in 46th. Right. I was surprised at that. Yeah, for startups, it's been it's been hard, apparently, but uh, a new law passed in June may help change that. Now three local guys hope to use MinVest to fund a video network that will quench a thirst. You drink more than you eat and there's a food network. So why isn't there a beverage network? As one of the forces behind Dash Fire Bitters and Eleven Well Spirits in St. Paul, Lee Egbert has thought about this question quite a bit. I mean, I, I make booze, but I, I don't just drink it. In the morning, I start with coffee, and at lunch, maybe I have a soda. So with a self-produced documentary on the history of spirits and the crafting of cocktails called Finding Fire as the basis, he decided to start the Thirst Network. We're all about uh, watching what we drink. Lee teamed up with Keith Kirby and Matthew Hanley and started to develop the right mix of features. So from tea, beer, soda, uh, wine, spirits, coffee, water, whatever it is uh, that you like to drink, viewers will be able to see shows about that beverage. Like a certain show? Giving it a good review will ensure you see more shows like it in your video feed. Viewers who just want to veg in front of a 24-7 live stream, like traditional TV, can choose the spin the bottle option. Think Pandora, but for television. So in this rating system, you'll be able to decide, oh, I don't like this show anymore, and it'll take it out of your spin the bottle stream. Ads and sponsorships will make up some of the revenue, but to get off the ground, Lee hopes to be one of the first startups funded by the newly created MinVest program. It's a crowdsource funding mechanism that's equity-based which is different than Kickstarter per se, which is rewards based. It's funding for Minnesota business by Minnesotans, and those who invest become shareholders. So even though the shows are locally based, you'll find the content valuable you know, in a broader, mm -hmm. broader way. Um, and as we expand to other cities, we're gonna go find those places in other cities that also have really great local stories uh, to be told. Highly impressed with that. Yeah, they they're doing some great stuff yeah. there uh, in the video production department. And while Minvest has been signed into law, they're still kind of waiting on rules mm. as to how specifically to go about it. And the website hasn't been set up yet. Uh, the owners of Thirst Network do plan to launch this uh, on a desktop and mobile-based web platform first. In 2016, they hope to uh, add apps for mobile as well as Apple TV, Roku, and. Chromecast. Uh, so you said you posted a link, wccocom yep. slash links. You can find out more about their network. You can find out more about the distillery that they own and also get in touch with them to support them if you want. Good deal. Very cool story, Mike.